distance between two points. And let's say we have an xy coordinate plane. This is the x axis and this is the y axis. And this is line AB. And we have point A, the coordinates is x1, y1, and point B, the coordinates are x2, y2. And we call this small letter 1, small letter 2, the subscripts. S U B S C R I P T S. Then obviously in coordinate geometry we have numbers at the points. We have numbers x y coordinates at the vertex of the lines or the triangles. So it is actually the application of algebra on geometric objects. And now let's say we are going to find the distance, the length of this line A B. How can we find the length of this line AB? And it is quite obvious that this ABC is a right angled triangle. And if we can find the length of the horizontal side and the height of the triangle, then we can make use of the Pythagoras theorem to find the length of AB. And now can we find, let's say, BC first. How can we find BC? And obviously, Y1 is the Y coordinate of point A and Y2 is the Y coordinate of point B. And we can think of the Y coordinates as the height of the point above the X axis. So the height of point A will be Y1, the height of point B will be Y2 above the X axis. So the length of BC will be Y2 minus Y1. And for AC, we can imagine the x coordinate of point A is x1, that is, point A is with a distance of x1 on the left hand side of the y axis, that is, from here to here, the distance is x1, and from here to here is x2. So, therefore, we have AC x2 minus x1. So, finally, the length of AB will be make use of the Pythagoras. Plus three. Therefore, we have AB equals to the square root of AC square plus BC square. And AC, we have x2 minus x1. And for BC, we have y2 minus y1. Therefore, this is our distance formula. The square of the difference of the x coordinates between two points plus the square of the difference of the y coordinates between two points. And finally, we take a square root on the outside. And therefore, if point A is 2, 3, and point B is uh, 6, 8, then we can immediately apply the distance formula to find the length of A, B. We first write the format in this way. And then we subtract the x coordinates. That is 6 minus 2. And then taking square plus the difference of the y coordinates, which is 8 minus 3. And therefore we can simplify the expression. And that this is the square of 4. We have 16. And that this is the square of 5, we have 25. And the final answer is the square root of 41 units. And finally, I want to make one more point on the location of point C. Can we write down the coordinates of point C? And uh, you can see that the x coordinate of point C will be 6, which should equal to the x coordinate of point B because they are on the same vertical line. And the y coordinate of point C will equal to the y coordinate of point A because A C is on the same horizontal line. So this will be 3. And now